my name is Evelyn Bonds, and I'm going to do a cardiac and respiratory uh, exam on Lizzie today. She, we did a thorough health history, and she denied any pain, um, cardiac issues or problems breathing. So, um, cardiac exam we'll start with just general inspection. I'm noticing her eyelids; the, there's no xanthal asthmas, which would um, point to hypercholesteremia. There's no cyanosis of the lips, no um, broke uh, cracking of the sides of the lips, um, which could indicate anemia. And I'm noticing her chest wall is um, uniform in color. There's no discolorations um, and uh, no scarring. Okay, so I'm going to have you lay down, Lizzie. Okay. And I'm going to look, for, um, if you could turn to your right. Good. I'm, so I'm looking for any jugular venous distension. I'm noticing the carotid pulse is very faint, um, very brisk and um, faint. And if you could flip to your other side. So again, I don't see any swelling. And then I'm also just visualizing the apical impulse, um, which is uh, brisk and, but no heaves, lifts, or thrills is what I'm noticing. So I'm gonna start with palpation, um, starting at the, uh, the apex, so that apical pulse. Again, I'm feeling for any heaves, lifts, or thrills, or rubs, and I'm looking, feeling at the right sternal, the left sternal border, and then the top of the base of the heart. And I'm also feeling up here. And then the epigastric, just noticing any, um, no aortic um, pulsations. Okay, and so I'm gonna have you turn to your left and lean over to your side. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna feel for the apical impulse again. And it's one centimeter in size, which is normal. And then I'm also going to feel for a carotid, and then S1 should correlate, and they do for both carotids. Okay, great. And so systole um, goes with the um, epical impulse. And now you can lean up. I can help you. Okay, and so I'm going to now estimate with percussion heart size. So I'm percussing, looking for resonance to dullness. Good. Okay, and so the, the borders of the heart. Okay, and we actually have a chest x-ray, which is the most um, most accurate form to estimate height or heart size, and we know you don't have any cardiomegaly. Okay, so now we're gonna go to percussion, um, or what we already percuss, um, we're gonna go to auscultation now. So I'm gonna start with the aortic area. It's the second right intercostal space. And then the pulmonic area is the second left intercostal space. And then the second pulmon pulmonic area is in the third intercostal space. And I'm listening for S1 and S2. And then the tricuspid is at the left um, intercostal space at the fourth, um, at the fourth intercostal space at the left sternal border. And then where we had visualized the apex, we're gonna listen for that. The, at the mitral point, or the apex of the heart. Okay, so I heard S1 and S2. There's no S3, no S4, no clicks, rubs, gallops. Um, and I'm also going to listen to your um, apical pulse for a full minute. And for time's sake, um, her pulse is 70. And I'm also going to listen that S1 correlates with the apical impulse, which it does. Okay, so there was no murmur. So murmurs can indicate turbulent blood flow. They can be evident in pregnancy or they can indicate um, uh, valve, valve issues. Okay, so moving on to general inspection um, for respiratory, I'm noticing the work of breathing. Um, again, we already mentioned, we looked at your lips for um, any cyanosis. So I see you're not using any respiratory muscles. Um, your respirations are even and unlabored. Um, your chest is symmetrical. And then I'm gonna check for capillary refill in your hands and your fingertips. Okay, great. So they're less than three seconds. And then I'm gonna have you put your fingers together like this. And so I'm checking for clubbing, so there should be a nice diamond shape. And if you could do it like another finger too. Okay, great, and there's a diamond finger. And I'm also just noticing her general color. Her hands are warm. And uh, there's no like coo small breathing or anything like that. And so when I um, look at the back, if you could just slightly lean forward and um, fold your hands across your chest, good. Okay, and if you could breathe in, good. And 
and my thumbs are moving symmetrically so I know that um, expansion is symmetrical and again looking for the same thing uniform in color in the back and then I'm going to check for um, expansion in the front so breathe in Good. And again, I'm looking at those intercostal spaces. I don't see any um, extra accessory muscles being used for breathing. Okay, so now I'm going to palpate your thoracic muscles. So you let me know if there's any tenderness. So is any of this area tender? No tenderness. Okay. Okay, so I don't feel any masses. No crepitus. Okay, great. So now, oh, and I'm going to... Um, find out diaphragmatic um, excursion so I'm going to um, percuss so if you could take a deep breath in and hold it so I'm listening uh, resonance resonancy resonance and dullness so where I hear dullness I'm gonna mark with a piece of tape okay you can exhale okay and then when you're ready take a deep breath in and exhale all the way and then hold it at the end of that exhale. And again, um, where I go from dullness to resonance, and I'm gonna mark it with a piece of tape. Okay, good, and that's three to five centimeters. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So inhale deeply and hold it. Resonance, resonance, and dullness. So I'm gonna mark it with a piece of tape. Good, and exhale, deep breath. Okay, now another big inhale. And exhale, dullness, dullness, and, then, and hold it at the end of your exhale. Good, and mark it with a piece of tape. So um, I see there's a three to five centimeter difference between both on the side, um, between both pieces of tape, and on the right hand side is slightly higher, and that's because of the placement of the liver. Okay, and so I'm going to continue with percussion on the back, and I'm just comparing the right and left sides. I should hear, um, it should be resonant in all lung fields and they should be equal. Which they are. And I'm gonna percuss on the, the front as well. Again, I'm comparing right and left sides. They should be equal. Good. Now I'm gonna check for tactile fremitus. So I want you to say um, 99. 99. Good. Again. 99. Good. 99. Good. And so I'm noticing that the vibrations are even on both sides. Okay. Again, 99. 99. Good. 99. 99. Very good. So um, they're even on both sides. Okay. So now um, I'm going to auscultate. Um, and also I'm going to just check that the trachea is midline, which it is. It's soft, movable. And um, I'm going to start with bronchial sounds, and those should be um, loud and higher in pitched. <laughs> And just take some normal deep breaths in and out. Good. Moving down to bronchovesicular. Those are lower in pitch, but still uh, moderately loud. And moving on to vesicular sounds. Those are low in pitch. So I don't hear any crackles, bronchi, wheezing. You take a deep breath in. And you just fold your arms and lean slightly forward. Good. Inhale. Good. And then inhale. Okay, now I'm gonna have you say 99. 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 99 um, we could proceed with uh, whispered pectoral reliquy if, if I could hear that. That could indicate some consolidation. 
Um, you don't have a cough. Um, we would do a spirometry if we did suspect a respiratory issue. Um, but otherwise, we are done with your assessment. Thank you. So thank you. Mm -hmm.